Okay, head football coach Chad Klein, uh, 15 14 Torridor victory tonight. So, talk about coach the um, just the resilience of the kids getting down 14 nothing second quarter and then just the fight they had. You know, that, that, all that kind of went back to, and we talked to them all week and we've talked about all summer as team, you know, to stay together, don't do things that are not what we're supposed to be doing, just keep working together. And they did that. I know we talked to them that our style of football is body blow, body blow, let it wear on teams. And I think overall that started to show toward the end of the first half. Second half, we were starting to wear on them a little bit, started to use some size and push. And we started to chunk some yards. You know, we weren't perfect, but I think our kids stayed together and uh, did a great job of doing that all night. So, you know, you got the score right before half and just what, what do you think, uh, how important was that just as far as the mentality of the kids? Hey, yeah, you know, at that point, no, they, they go in the half thinking, no, this, what we talked about was working. No, that what was going to, that was where we were at. We were at that point where we had punched a lot, you know, just mm -hmm. pushed and pushed and pushed. And that was, we were starting to, that's when all of a sudden we were chunking. Plays were starting to come. Mm -hmm. And the kids were doing a good job of adjusting. No, they were coming mm -hmm. back saying, hey, you need to look at this. No, we, we were making adjustments to plays mm -hmm. on the fly and they were listening and they were executing. So we get to the uh, the second half, and you know both teams put some good drives together, and just nobody can manage much of anything. Uh, late in the game, you guys, uh, you know, uh, I think it was Dylan Bolton get, gets behind the defense, has a nice touchdown pass from Jude, and uh, Bolton's coming right back out to kick the PAT. And um, did you call timeout because you were second guessing it, or was someone out on the field, or what'd you what'd you think? I we wanted when we called the timeout initially it was just to get everything settled, make sure that point was uh, critical. You know that was a tying point, but um, no, your seniors come when your seniors come over and say we're going for two to win this thing right now, mm -hmm. and I you know we talked real quick about what the play would be. Yep, you go with it. You know that's it's mm -hmm. their team, their leadership. Um, and they they did exactly so. I said, mm -hmm. you know, this is a play. Do you think we can run that? And they're mm -hmm. like, yep. So we kind of – it was a quick draw something in the dirt slightly yep. um, based on what we've been doing, and absolutely worked out. I know uh, sophomore quarterback Jude hops in there and lead blocks for Christian to get the edge, and mm -hmm. the offensive line inside did a great job of just pushing, uh, keeping their guy intact, and, you know, we, we get the edge and Christian gets in. So they, I can't give the guys enough credit for making that call. I think Lucas Thompson and Jesse Murray the ones that stepped up and said, mm -hmm. let's do this. Mm -hmm. You think you go to overtime? I mean, they had a they had a heck of a receiving core. Had some big kids, you know, with the Iowa overtime rules. Put the ball on the ten yard line. Uh, you know, they definitely had some some things they could have done had you gone to overtime. So, yeah, you know. and, and I, you know, my initial thought was on going for one. I thought we had the momentum at that point for sure. And I think yes, in that in that scenario at the ten yard line, no, our kind of grinded out. No, mm -hmm. Could be good or bad, I guess. Sure, that absolutely. You don't know if they're going to stack it and we yep. get stuck or, you know, all they got to do is hit a couple small hitches. You know, things that we weren't really good at, but mm -hmm. really that didn't play too much into the decision. Okay. Okay. It was really on the kids, like, at that point of, hey, we're going to do this and right. let's play. But either way, the, the, the fact that you have the momentum, yeah. you know, what was made the total difference. Oh, absolutely. You know, either way, if you go to OT or you go for two. Yep. And um, it looked to me like you were wearing them down. And, and maybe just talk for a second about your platooning a little bit. And yeah. just how do you think, you think that made a difference? Absolutely. In a night like this, you know, you start to see cramps. We had not as many, you know, our our key players, you know, some yeah. big players up front, you know, we're able to stay fresh. The guys that we were running behind on the offensive line were able to stay fresh because we didn't have to play them both ways. Okay. Uh, no, we were limited on who we played both ways. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't something that we tried, just mm -hmm. based on talent and work that we ended up being mostly platoon. So okay. on a night like tonight, okay. that's great. And plus, Perfect. that gives a lot of energy to kids because they can look at it and say, you know, we have 40-some varsity players. Mm -hmm. 22 of them are, are getting an expansive amount of time playing yeah. football on a Friday night. For sure. So. So just lastly, talk about what this this win means just to start the year off with. Yeah, you know, having though the seasons that we've had the last three years, you know, starting off and uh, not even being in the games a lot of times. So yeah. uh, just to be in the game and then to be able to pull that out um, at the end is huge for our kids. You know that yeah. um, that means a lot going into the next week's practices. You know. Mm -hmm and uh, some things that we could probably do kind of special, but as long as they stay together and that this was the first big step into doing that. You bet. All right. Thanks, Chad. Thanks.